Eric, for the past 850 days, <laughs> you have been my best friend, encourager, listener, supporter, companion, and my greatest challenge. Uh, I think it's good to do like one of the three. But most importantly, you are my godsend, Boaz, and you make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more love than I ever thought possible. Becky, from the first moment I said hello to you at Live in Mosaic two years ago, to the same place where you said your first I do about a year and a half ago, it's been an amazing journey, and I can't wait to live the rest of our lives together. Yeah, so people do like me, not all the like This gets pretty weird. So as you guys know, Eric, he's always that type of guy who just gives 100% to everything. He has so many qualities that I want for myself, and some of them are of course not physically possible for me to copy. Like his army strong arms and legs. No, we're trying to decide where we're going to go. Other qualities like his passion for life, his love for God, and his honesty and loyalty to his friends are all these qualities that fired me throughout my whole life. When Becky and I were growing up, please don't cry, Becky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Becky and I share a very special sisterly bond, and uh, she has been my best friend for all my life. Always there for me as my biggest supporter. No matter what we were facing together, she was there. Like when she was there, when I decided to go against these bullies in my elementary school, they were taller, they were meaner. But she didn't run away. She stayed right next to me and she took the beatings with me. Becky. There's nothing much I can promise, but here's what I can do. I promise to always be there next to you when you're studying late. I promise to pray for you, with you, because we'll definitely need it. <laughs> you but above all, I promise to love you always, to protect you, cherish you, honor you, serve you, lead you and our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in sickness and in health, for poor or for richer, until death do us part. Becky, I love you so much, and I hope you're having the best day of your life. Eric, I think you know this about Becky already, but if the word loyal any value to, to you and a person, you found the right person for your life. Eric, I promise to love you with the never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Love you. This is the moment that Becky has been waiting for all her life. <laughs> You may kiss your bride. I have to say, Beck didn't notice Eric's handsomeness right away. Um, it was actually Brandon, my husband, and I who noticed his handsome features. <laughs> and it took almost a year for God to open her eyes. I'm glad you listened to us. Good things happen when you listen to your older sister. I think it was in one of the Japanese restaurants. Eric told me that he had somebody to introduce me. The moment that I ta started talking with you, I knew that she was the one that Eric has been waiting for all these years. After the meeting, we went home and we just did our usual guy debriefing session. And it us usually goes me telling him, oh yeah, okay, you shouldn't have done that, but you should have done that. I was pretty blunt with him and that Eric that you better not screw up this one because she's a keeper you better hold on to her
tonight next to Becky as a married man to go out to take on the world. With that being said, now that you guys succeeded in creating the wedding of the century tonight, go out and make the marriage of Millennium happen.